Oh, hey everyone, it's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. I've decided that I'm going to challenge the World Heavyweight Champion for the belt. Now, some of you might be wondering, why, Spidey, would you challenge for the belt? Hmm, let me see. Why would I challenge for the belt, you say? Well, why not? I have a costume for it. Besides, many of you don't know this, but that's how I made my debut. I was a wrestler. Huh? What's that music? What's going on? Whew, is it getting kind of hot in here? Pink. Oh, I can't do supers, I've only got one hand. Out. Hey everyone, welcome to Review Time. I'm Islip, and again, I'm outside in my backyard, and it's like 8 million degrees out here. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing a review on this the Elite Collection cane, including the Walder's mask. I don't know how well you can see it because it's hard to see with the. Uh, comes in this nice box, which I've only kept long enough to. You know, here's his bio 7 feet. That's a lie, he's 6'10". Um, 323 pounds, probably. Blah, blah, blah. Other people can get in the collection. Now, for some reason, they don't do very many Kane figures. And you would think, you know, Kane, he's colorful. He is evil, I guess. I don't know. They always have the, you know, like, there's 8 million Rey Mysterios and everybody else, but... The real good, the real good and important ones like you know, Undertaker, Kane. Okay, maybe Kane isn't the best wrestler, but still, they don't have. So, yeah. Sorry about the sniffling. I have not a cold. I have allergies. Allergy season uh, kicked in, and it's been kicking my butt and everybody else's butt that I know of. So here we have Kane, and you know, let me hold on a second. All right, so there we go. Um, again, it's hard to see if you can, if I'm catching all the details because there is a lot of sunlight behind me. But this would be the Big Red Machine as he uh, debuted after his basically one year. Um, departure from the WWE came back with this welder's mask and now he magically grew hair and you take that off the welder's mask comes off it's pretty cool and then there's the big red machine now let's raise the camera up just a little bit because I want to focus in on the face just a little bit hopefully that can be done yeah there we go so, just do that, and zoom in just a wee bit, there we go, you can see all the nice little details, and that really, really captures, I don't think I have any other action figure of this character that actually captures him this well, I mean, the likeness is stunning, you can see the little uh, designs they put in there 
Now, obviously, he's not quite as muscular looking as this makes him out to be, but he is pretty okay. Although, it does make him look a little thinner than he is, too, but, you know, that's what happens when you use a stock body for multiple action figures. So, let's uh, bring him back out. Now, he's got a lot of articulation, all things considered, but he is still sort of lacking. There are certain things he cannot do, but let's go with what he can do. He can rotate his head. It does move up and down. Uh, arms go in a cycle. Up, down, uh, bends at the elbows, rotates at the rest, and, you know, his hand does different things. Um, unfortunately, no finger articulation, but his fingers do stretch. It's too bad that his hands don't open up a little bit more so you can... Uh, like, this one looks like it's... it's, it's um, in that you can get that iconic pose where... Well, let's forget about that for the moment. Um, he has an ab crunch. His waist does rotate. Legs are on a ball joint and a stick. They also rotate at the thigh. Upper thigh, he's got a double knee, yay! And it looks like it rotates at the foot, but I'm not gonna push that issue too much. And I mean, at the the calf, and his foot does look like it's supposed to slide and stuff, but I don't see it doing anything. So you can get him in. in that pose where where he is hold on you can get him in that pose where he is just waiting to choke slam the hell out of somebody uh, size comparison time we've got a six inch scaled Spider-Man. So let's stand him up. He is about to, he's about seven inches. He's about the size of a Voyager, maybe a little bit taller than a Voyager. Should have brought whoop one of those out. I don't know if hopefully the wind is not blowing too hard into Hey, airplane. Here we go. Here's next to Spider-Man, and that scales really well when you consider that Spider-Man is only supposed to be five something, I believe. He is that is a pretty good scale. I just wish the Spider-Man was a little tighter, a little easier to balance, and yeah. So you can, and his hand does fit around Spider-Man's neck pretty well, actually. Now I think about it. So you can do that. Let's turn it so that there isn't so much shadows. So you can do that. Although, to be honest with you, I don't think, even though Spider-Man is a puny little Spider-Man, he is, you know, relatively strong. Originally, he could lift up a Volkswagen Beetle, and I don't think Kane can do that. Uh, something a little more relevant to the Transformer community, because, you know, I am a part of said community. If you listen to Good Morning Cybertron on Podomatic, YouTube, Forshare, or iTunes, then you know I am on there occasionally. Here is next to a Cyberverse Commander Scaled figure. And you can see he's fairly, fairly tall. So, but that's pretty much it. There's not much else I can say about this figure other than he was worth, I think I paid 16 bucks for him. <laughs> And to be honest with you, he's the only Elite Kane figure I have, well, of this mold anyway, that I've ever seen. Point is, he is a rare figure, and for someone like me who is a fan of this uh, character, it, it was totally worth it to get this figure. He looks great, scales well with uh, the other figures, and he goes great with some of the Undertakers I've gotten. So, um... 
yeah, that's pretty much it. There's not much, much, much else I can say. The sculpt is good. The quality is good. It looks great. And that's it. I'm Islip. And there are crazy people out here. I'm out.